Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to record demos in Source Games and specifically Left 4 Dead 2 and how then to convert those demos to uh, AVI files so you can watch them without having the game open and uh, upload them to YouTube or whatever you want to do with it. So first of all you want to open the game obviously. Just open Left 4 Dead 2 Okay, now when you're in the main menu, I'm just going to go for single player now for demonstration purposes, but you can do this in any game mode you want. Just load up a game. Doesn't matter, start game. Now while it loads, this uh, method that I'm going to show you may seem a bit complicated and not worth the effort. Um, however, once you've done it a couple of times, it will become second nature and uh, the end result is definitely worth it. It's better than recording with Fraps or Wii Game or whatever program you use. Okay, so when you're in game, um, you want to open the console. If you uh, can't open the console, you may have to enable it in the options. When it's enabled, just open it and type record, oh. record uh, space and then a name for your demo. I'm going to go for tutorial for obvious reasons and press enter. Now close the console and it's recording. So I'm just going to run around here a bit. Let's kill a zombie. Okay. That's enough. Uh, when you're done recording, just open the console again and type stop. Now you can see it has completed uh, the demo recording time, game frames, etc. Now alternatively you can just leave this running for an entire campaign. You just uh, start it up at the, uh, the start of the campaign and it will create a new point .dem file for every new map that you load. So now that we're done we uh, are going to have to convert it. So exit to the main menu Now what I usually do um, I go to my options, then audio, and then now my speaker settings are already uh, set to two speakers. However, I'm gonna usually it's on 5.1, so set it from whatever configuration you have to two speakers. This will uh, prevent any audio issues. Now the game will actually set the game to two speakers by default if you start converting. However, I find that setting it manually uh, prevents audio issues that may occur. So now we're going to have to restart the game to apply the settings. Okay, so now start up the game again. Okay, now when you get to the main menu, uh, press Shift F2. This will bring up a little demo playback window here. Alternatively, you can type um, demo UI in console, one word. Or um, you can also go into the console and type play demo, one word, and then the name of your demo file to start playing the demo straight away. Now I usually do it this way because it brings up an easy uh, screen that you can use. Just press load and it will bring up the uh, 
of the file browser. Now select your dem file, in this case tutorial.dem, and open it. Okay, now as you can see, your um, playback window has all the standard features. It has a resume pause button. You can speed the demo up with this slider right here. You can select frames with these buttons. And you can also, uh, you have the tick meter here. I'm just going to go to tick 50. Ticks are basically frames. Okay. Now we want to go. Uh, we want to go and convert. So to do this, open the console and type start movie space and then uh, a name for your for your movie. I'm gonna go with uh, tutorial again. Now do not press enter yet because this may cause any. Uh, audio issues. So what I usually do is the following. I close the console and now in the demo playback window I just click resume, close the demo playback window, open the console, press enter and close the console. Like this. Now it's recording. Converting actually. Uh, you may notice that the game is uh, stuttering quite badly and that the audio is looping, it's hanging. It's not a problem, it's all normal. Just let it do its thing here. Okay, that's enough. Um, and you think you're done? Open the console and type and movie one word as you can see that stopped recording the movie and now we can just exit to the main menu now I'm going to set my uh, speaker settings back otherwise I forgot to do that okay so that's pretty much um, the left for that two part done now we're gonna have to uh, make an actual AVI out of it 